Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Star Wars Jedi Survivor on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Jedi Master difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in a previous video, we arrived at the forest gate door. We opened it with the tuna that Z gave us. And we started making our way through many different Bedlam Raiders and also the Empire. And we've now arrived at the Forest Array. And there is this very strange dusty matter everywhere that is preventing me from being able to breathe. So I'm having to do a lot of platforming at the moment to try and avoid it. And we also met up with some of those very irritating enemies that I think might be in the Star Wars um, Empire Strike strikes back movie named mogus you know those things that uh grab luke when he passes out in the snow and he cuts open its belly and uh, cuts off his arm and kills it i think those things are in the area as well and uh, they are the only thing that's managing to nearly kill me at the moment but other than that we're doing pretty well and we're getting relatively close to the forest array where we are hoping to find a key to a planet known as talanor where the jedi have supposedly built some sort of uh secret temple or something so uh, that's what we're doing. And we're doing that mission for Z. Diligence switch. And I also changed the colour of my blades to orange, as you can see. Purely for Rob the Priest, an absolute legend. Ah, oh, we already know what we got to do with these. We've seen this tech before, just not on this scale. Yeah, you've got to place the orb inside it. Oh, nice. Just like Z's chamber. Well, it's not like Z's chamber. In Z's chamber, they uh, they created bridges. Is that going to damage me? No, but I can feel the uh, dual sense controller vibrating in a very sexual way. <laughs> Lovely. That's a very soft vibration. Very nice. Very pleasant on the hands. And possibly the balls. But we're not going to test because this is YouTube and not OnlyFans. Lovely. Going to have another skill point Let's soon as well. Is that one of those rocks? Oh, oh, oh. oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, do not get hit by that. When they, when they charge at you like that, they do massive damage. Considering the size of them, it's crazy damage. I just realised, actually, I don't think anything happened in the previous video that I can use as a thumbnail. So if the previous video had a very boring thumbnail, I do apologise. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, I think I just, I think I double jumped when I didn't need to. I wonder if Z would know more about this. Uh, I'm guessing we were supposed to go that way. If I can make that jump out, we, we can do that, can't we? Oh, whew, just about. There's, there's not a shortcut. You cannot consider that a shortcut. Or oh, it saves me two seconds of platforming. There's not a shortcut. Come on, respawn. No way we're crossing that still breathing. Oh crap, a Gatling gun stormtrooper. <laughs> I love doing that. Oh man, I think we might have done that a lot in the first game, thinking about it. There is little bits that's popping back into my brain from the first game's playthrough. I do remember there being a lot of puzzles in the first game. We haven't we haven't found too many puzzles yet, which I am happy about, because I don't like I don't like puzzles. No, it's not because they're challenging or anything like that, it's just I just find them boring. Certain games I, I like them, but not, not a game like this where it's all about action. What's this? Oh, sweet. Oh, there better be some fat loot in here. I don't think I went in here off camera. Nice. Oh, no, nah. 
<laughs> no, that does, look, that does not look nice, BD1. We will not be equipping that on you no matter what. To be honest, we won't change much on you, BD1, because you actually do look perfect the way you are. Honestly, you are adorable, BD1. We don't want to... I don't even want to change the colour of you. This better be flipping worth it. Oh, yep, yeah, it's definitely worth it. Come on. Either a skill point or a health upgrade. Or a force upgrade. Any of those will be fine. Oh. What's that? Fortification. A new perk. Well, depending on what the... <gasps> Hello, my good sir. I can't... I don't want. I don't, I don't think we should. He's just. He's just enjoying the view. You know what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mate. But you did deserve it. You do work for the baddies. That's where we came up from, ain't it? Yeah, and we went through that gap over there. Okay. So we are on the right path. We need to find out what that perk does. That could be. That could be very good. All the critters around the array are pretty riled up. Could be the dust in the air. Imperial patrols probably don't help either. Plus a, plus a madman running around with glowing uh, blades on his uh, in his hands as well. That probably scares him a bit as well. Probably scares him more than most of the other things actually. Because yours are bright and light. And that can creep animals out. Health, health, health. Oh, hold R1 and okay. press circle to confuse large creatures. Oh, nice. It's an upgrade for our um, confusion. What, what if you didn't pick that up, though? <laughs> like, it, what if somebody misses that? That's important, that is. Oh, so can we, like, can we control like the, uh, the mogus now or those big things that, you know, those big chunky things that try and sit on you? I already know that we can't go through that door. It's a shortcut. Lovely. Don't even need to rest, but we might as well. It does seem like it takes a long time to level up in this game. But I've said it before, sometimes you do find like relatively strong enemies that are near meditation spots. And you can kill the strong enemy, get a bunch of experience, then go and rest and respawn the enemy and then just keep killing it over and over again. Stuff like that, that's a good way of farming experience in this game. Can be boring though, but it's a good way of doing it. If you want to get all of the uh That could be trouble. Or maybe it could lend us a hand. <laughs> look at that. Look at them just looking at it. They just what well, I thought they would have just shot it. Did it Oh sweet, they do do damage to it. Nice. I mean, I kind of hope, hope the stormtroopers beat it. Man, look how many there is over there. I'm not a threat. <laughs> I mean, I am a threat. Don't listen to Cal. He's definitely lying. Have you killed them all or not? Man, they got a knife. Look at that poor guy. Squished in the corner, see? That's what happens when you get backed up into a wall. You end up dead. Man, poor stormtroopers. I'm the, I'm the dude that just said I'm not a threat. Watch out, watch out, watch out! For God's sake, man, I swing for too long. I need to learn to just, like, not swing as much. I think this is probably why it's better for me to play with one blade. The Empire is way out of their element here. Because I can swing so much with the uh, dual wielding blades, I think I just I just go to tan too much, and then I'm I'm in a position where I'm halfway through swinging, and then I can't dodge. Look at those. I still don't even know what these. Oh, hello. There's a lady over there as well. I think she might tell you about an NPC that leads to. Uh, that uh, unlocks fishing for you, maybe. But we're not going to be over there for a while. Yeah. 
Nice. That might look pretty good, actually. Oh, we just, oh, did we, did we just unlock colours? Might as well make you more orange, eh, Cal? Seems to be your favourite colour, mate. There we go. <laughs> it's a shame, actually, that this game is so good. Other than the technical issues that it's had. Other than that, it's a great game. And then uh, yesterday, what's his name? Owen Wilson or something like that? Or is that an actor? That's an actor, ain't it? Oh, uh, but something Wilson. But uh, the, the CEO of uh, EA, basically, yesterday at the time of recording, the 11th of May, he basically was saying how he's, uh, they're going to be focusing on games as a platform. A.K.A. games as a service. Live service games. Things like Fortnite and stuff like that. So you've got massive success with quality games like this, but you want to continue working on shit. I mean, Apex Legends did very well for EA, but other than that, oh, I guess The Sims counts as live service as well now, but why? Just make games like this, EA. Jesus. I mean, you've clearly got the talent to do it if you give them the time and resources. What's your problem? Not every game has to be fucking live service. And when every game releases and it's a live service game, you ain't even got time to play them because live service don't end. They keep adding new shit. And you've got to try and keep up with like 50 games that you enjoy. Where a single player, you play it, you finish it, Maybe another playthrough in the future if you enjoyed it, or for the platinum. But then you're done. You know, it's nah. And if they want to keep, if, I mean, if they want to keep games like this going, add expansions to it, or do stuff like The Witcher Three, big massive expansions that are great, and charge like ten quid for it. I don't mind stuff like that, but I don't want these little stupid free updates with just cosmetic shit, you know, and stuff like that. It's boring. That's why when Sony's got twelve in development, twelve live service games in development, it. Depending on what they are, it's going to bother the hell out of me, you know? But Sony will never stop with the single player games. They know what makes them successful. Careful, BD. Well, that's cute. I don't know what else to say. Seer, I, I, I thought... No, you didn't think. You perceived a threat. And reacted. If the order had reacted faster, we'd still have a republic. The Empire, the Haxian brood, half the galaxy wants us dead. Yes. <laughs> the odds are against us. But they will always be against us. Cal, you can't fight your way out of some situation. Press R1 to tame the Relta. Oh, nice. Oh, he's definitely taking lessons from Seer very, uh, very well, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look, a little head bop. <laughs> oh, that was cute. This isn't the time to fight. You can now glide with Relta's. I think I saw one of these earlier, but I think it flew away. Yeah, so basically you pull down on the analog stick to uh, increase your height. But that you can't fly freely with these. They take you to certain locations. See? I mean, for some reason, you're... What did you just... What did you descend for? What are you doing? What did you do that for? That was not me. <laughs> that was not... What did you... What the hell? I'll get the hang of this. Oh, it looks like there's wind over there as well. There you go, buddy. That's much better, isn't it? <laughs> Don't know what that was about. He just decided to take a nosedive. Oh, maybe Cal was too heavy. You put on a bit of weight of your cow. I mean, you don't look that chunky. Maybe it's BD1. Maybe BD1's a chunky robot. There we go. Let's stop. We've very nearly got another skill point. Where did you come from? 
Oh, <laughs> darn it, he does get, I was, going, I was wondering if it would actually kill him or not. Although he died very quickly. Just like he didn't even attempt to hold his breath. Oh no. I want to try and actually hit that guy up there. Fantastic job, Cal. I don't think the other stormtroopers like you very much, mate. They're not even coming around here to rescue you. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit, will you? Got more chance of me getting 10 million subscribers than you hitting your target, mate. Oh, shit, he hit his target. Oh, fuck. I'm go oh, fuck, and again. Oh, shit, looks like I'm getting 10 million subscribers. Oh. Now, honestly, I wouldn't want 10 million subscribers. I want my channel to grow, and I would like to maybe reach a million at the most. But I would not want to. I would, I would not. I couldn't handle that kind of an audience. It's too much, too overwhelming. It'd be too stressful for me. I already know that. Just enough for it to be my full-time job. That'd be enough for me. Which 100k views per video would be more than, less than that actually. I reckon you get in 20 to 30 thousand views per video. You could have it as a full-time job. Might be a bit of a struggle. Might be a bit tight. But I reckon you'd be all right. Structure is the array. Especially if you, if you upload fair. every day. That is. Oh, parried. These ones feel a bit stronger, actually. Oh, nice. Glad you're excited. What'd you find, buddy? Oh, yeah, we don't want to put... Yeah, we don't want to have the beam like that yet. We want to... Oh, yeah, we've got to release the bird, don't we? You better appreciate that after you flipping pushed me in the previous video. That did the trick. <clears throat> Let's move. There is um there was a, a game that released on the PSVR one, Transformers game. And uh they've I think they've remastered it for the PlayStation VR two. Kinda of tempted to do that soon actually, because I know my I sister is a stuck in this stuff. Is a it's massive like a fan of Transformers. To take on various forms. Let's hope that tower at the top of the array has some answers. It better have some answers, because we've taken a long time to get it. But most importantly, it better have that key to Talonor. But yeah, my sister's a big fan of that, so I'm tempted to do it. Plus, you've got the film coming out in June, and I think it's already released. There's about six or seven VR games coming in the future, by the way, for anybody wondering why I've not uploaded any. It was mostly because the one I wanted to do next and the one that I bought was The Walking Dead VR. But then Dead Island 2 came out and I didn't want to have two zombie games on the go at the same time. So I'm having a little break from zombie stuff. So maybe June or July, the VR stuff will continue big time. Especially probably throughout uh, August. But yeah, just a quick update. Thanks for the assist. You bastard. Oh, what's that? He's got a new move. Protect me. I'm hit. Oh, you finally killed it, did you? Cat. Fucking hell, man. Why do you take so long to use stims? What is your problem, Cal? Is it because you've got orange lightsabers or something? Help me, BDs. I am pressing the uh, block button, by the way. But I'm pressing it when Cal's attacking. That's the problem. And we've leveled up as well. We've got a skill point, I mean. I'm 
Where'd you come from? Cheeky devils. Where's that one with his shield? Oh, he definitely should be dead if he's gone down there. Doesn't look like we can go that way, though. Alright, well, here we go. Oh, actually, before we come this way, uh, we need to take a um, an orb with us. There you go. This is definitely a shortcut. So what I'm going to do is... I'm, I'm guessing you're supposed to take this one right here. But instead, I'm going to take the other one. Because I feel like having this orb still here might be... You know, allowing us to run from all the way over there back to here. Seems like a good idea. So I'm going to leave this one here. Watch out for the uh, bird enemies over here, though. I'm not going to rest, though, because there's going to be a... Oh, you shithead! <gasps> <gasps> you little prick! Oh, you little shit. Where have... I don't know where I'm going to respawn now. Where the hell is this? Oh, for God's sake, like four miles away. I was going to say, I'm not going to rest at that place because there's a place to rest once we get inside the forest, all right? Sorry about that, Wolf. My face, that was a, a very bad thing to die to. That means all those droids are going to be back there. God damn it. <laughs> Beautifully done, Cal. Well done. Right, let's make sure I get my flipping experience back. You don't lose skill points, just whatever experience you've got that leads to the next skill point. There you go. See, I've got it back now. Also, I mean, sometimes I dying can be useful. Because when you, when you pick up your experience, you... Um, checking there's no birds around here when you pick up your experience it also heals you as well so when you die to something like uh, a boss it will be left on the floor similar to like dark souls so you could just leave it there as like an extra health item <laughs> so then when you take damage you just roll over it and then you pick up your experience and you also heal as well so it's, it's like a little cheeky extra additional health like against a rancor and stuff like that because they don't hold on to the uh, experience for some reason probably because they're bosses just so you can reclaim it and leave the area, I guess. That door better still be open. Good. Oh shit! I don't know where the orb's gone. <laughs> Where'd the orb go? Oh, I bet it's teleported back, ain't it? Yep, it teleported back. I can see the beam in the distance. Alright, well, we're going to take this one for now. Didn't really want to do this, but never mind. Basically made everything that we just did pointless. Even the death was pointless now. <laughs> For God's sake. Familiar tech. Same mechanisms powered Z's chamber. We're getting close. Nice. Oh, there's those spy droids again. We're not the only ones interested in the array. 
No, no, no shit, no shit, cow. I mean, we've we've only just seen Bedlam Raiders and blood. Well, we haven't seen the proper Bedlam Raiders. We've seen the B1 droids, but we've seen them and the Empire everywhere. <laughs> it's very obvious that people are interested in this place. We've searched all over the array, buddy. This is our last stop. The key to Tantalor is real. It has to be here. And if not, maybe Z does have a screw loose. Oh, actually, it's familiar. One second, let me just. First, I want to check that perk that we found, <clears throat> and also use my skill. Uh, where are they at? Perks. Oh, there it is. Oh, I requires three slots. Life regenerates up to a minimum amount. Well, what does that mean? What's a minimum amount? Well, I'm not going to bother using it if it don't heal me very much. What's the bloody point? I'd rather have extra block. Right, I think there's one over here that increases my... Block meter refills faster. That's good. Reduce time required to heal with a BD1 stim. Oh, well, we're going to grab that. Because it takes about four years for you to heal at the moment, doesn't it, Cal? <laughs> Lovely. That's very quick. Much better. BD1 stim canister refills some force meter. Oh, nice. Cal recovers additional hurt life when using the stim. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, well, there's a lot of survival ones we need to get. All right, let's go. Let's go find this bloody key. <clears throat> this must be where Centauri Kree intended to send Z. The key to Tantalor was sealed away centuries now that did it sounds like the array is powering up time for some answers Welcome to Tantalor. It's beautiful. Remind me not to let you name the next world we discover. Give it time. You didn't like me much at first either. Jury's still out. to believe this paradise was hiding on just the other side of the abyss. Come on. I want to show you something. Renowned Jedi Knight Dagon Gara offers to be my escort on an uncharted world. <laughs> How could I refuse? Without your guidance, I'd never have made it here in one piece. Oh, careful now. Well, someone might think you've learned humility. Oh. <clears throat> Force is strong here. It's just as I told you. We'll build the temple here. Yes. My thoughts exactly. 
I mean, if I discovered a planet that looked this beautiful, I wouldn't mind building a temple here as well. Especially if some sort of religion I believed in, if you consider the Siths and the Jedi some sort of religion. But if I could feel the light of the Jedi in a, in a planet like this, oh hell yeah, I'm building a temple right away. Even that mountain is literally already the shape of a temple. It's just waiting to be carved into a temple, ain't it? Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it matters what way you walk, so just walk in any direction. Oh, it's simply wonderful. Yes, it's perfect. I've seen the galaxy, Santari, and there are many worlds that the light of the Jedi does not reach. I'm going to petition the High Council to train initiates here. Fontana Law. But it can be so challenging to access. What if something were to go wrong? Our temple will be a bastion for the Order. Here at the Galactic Frontier. The Abyss blocks comm signals. We'll have to invite a member of the Jedi Council to visit in person. Hmm. Sweet. I mean, I suppose be, being hard to access could actually be part of the trial. Only the worthy Jedi younglings can travel here. Yeah, it's part of the trial, isn't it? They've been in there for hours. Council members are not known for their hasty judgments. Especially Master Rancesis. My duel with the Gendai didn't take this long. You won in the end. Be patient. Not one of my strong suits. Well, if you're going to teach younglings, you had better learn. I have faith in you. So does the Council. Trust them to do the right thing. <clears throat> What's wrong? <clears throat> Warn the others. We're under attack. Supposed to be here. Release me, please. Oh, that's creepy. Cal. Cal Kestis. And you must be Dagon Gera. Yes, I am. You are a Jedi? Yes. But things have changed since you've been gone.
A Sith Lord corrupted the Republic. Turned it into an empire. They destroyed the Order. They're hunting down those of us that are left. But... You're here now. We can fight them. Together. That is a cool way of revealing. I didn't even notice when I played this off camera that he was missing an arm. Until he stood up like that. So I was focusing on the face. Yes. I am back. The order is gone. I must return to Tanlor. What happened there? How'd you end up here? We were invaded. I held them at bay as long as I could, but... There were too many. The battle was horrific. Still, we weren't beaten. Not yet. Not until the Jedi Council gave the order to abandon Tanalor and then refused to counterattack. They gave up on it? Yes. It was my discovery! My home, and they just expected me to throw it away! Dagon, wait. I refused to obey and was betrayed by the one I trusted most! No, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's, that's badass, that is. Oh, no, I can't smack somebody with one arm. That's like hitting somebody with glasses. You don't do that, do you? All right, come on, Dagon. Let's go. Watch out, watch out. All right, let me just let me just die quickly because I uh, I was I was talking. I took unnecessary damage right at the start. Then, okay, right, let's do this properly now. Okay. Yeah, see how it appears on the floor. See, and there you go. And that would heal me now. Still green. More. Again. All right, there you go. There you go. It's gonna take some big damage now. Oh, you cheeky devil. Insufficient. Billy suddenly. Meager. Come on, come at me. Come at me. Come at me. This is 
that it? Frightened? I'm not doing very well at the moment. Gotta be honest. That's nothing. You're wasting energy. Attack! Right, I've got no health left now, so I've got to start playing properly now. Honor your oath. <laughs> Wait. She entrusts Tanalor to someone like him. Well, that was. So basically, his homeland was uh, attacked, and because he was forced to uh, retreat by the Jedi Order and abandon his uh, his discovery, his home, he's become very angry. <laughs> Jesus, that was cool though. How he took the flipping uh, light from the uh, the power stone from the uh, lightsaber and made it evil. <laughs> that was cool. All right. Let's get to the next meditation spot, which I think should be down there, maybe, and I have to end it for today. Man, it's already been longer. God damn, man. I need to stop going past 40 minutes. Tanalor was supposed to bring us closer. All it did was divide our order. The council may have given up on you, but I know who you truly are, Dagon. Even if you yourself have forgotten. She had such faith in him. At least she never had to see him fall to the dark side. I want to know how long he's been in that tank of water for. Because it seems like at least a, a couple of hundred years, maybe. Not a bad view, huh, buddy? Wonder if Grease and Boat fixed the Mantis by now. <laughs> if they haven't fixed it by now, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> After all we've done. Mind you, fixing something can take hours. This literally only took us an hour and 20. <laughs> so it, it might not be fixed yet. Lovely. New objective, check on the Mantis. All right, let me quickly uh, rest. Oh, actually, let me spend uh, my skill points quickly. Once again, we're gonna stick them in. Actually, we might, maybe, maybe the force. Press circle, increases force recovery, 
when performing a successful precise evasion. We'll go with this one, just extra, extra false. Because we're doing alright for health at the moment, and we ain't dying very often unless we fight like more elite enemies. So we're doing alright at the moment. And we're only going to find more stims as we progress and more health upgrades. That should be alright. Oh, better rest as well. Always forget to do that every bloody time. There we go. Man, this is a pretty eventful video. Quite a lot happened as well. I didn't expect that guy to be in the tank when I played off camera though. It was very strange. And because I was focused so much on his face and him talking, because that's how I, when I talk to people in real life, I'm always looking at their face. They could be wearing clan shoes and I wouldn't even notice to be honest. But then he stood up and he revealed his arm. I was like, oh damn. It's nice that they've got a cool character that's also missing an arm. It's always good for those people out there that are also missing arms, you know, especially kids that could have been born missing a limb, stuff like that, and then they see a cool badass like this. But then again, Darth Vader was the original amputee, you know, Anakin Skywalker, because he lost what well, he lost all his fucking limbs, didn't he? He had his legs and arms cut off by Obi Wan, and then he came and he was a badass, you know, he's the ultimate Sith. <laughs> so uh, really, there's already one OG amputee legend, and that's uh, Darth Vader, but. To actually have it shown without like a robot arm. Uh, yeah, this guy. It's pretty cool. But anyway, thanks for watching Wolf Morbets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.